Hello friends, today let's see how to make an instant vermicelli pulliodurai. It's a very very simple, easy to make, quick dish that can be done in the busy mornings or when you're hard pressed for time. It's a very simple recipe and very tasty too. Come, let's see how to do it. I'm heating a teaspoon of gingerly oil. You, traditionally, gingerly oil is used for anything done with pulliodurai. So to this, I am adding quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds, quarter teaspoon of gram dal, quarter teaspoon of urad dal, when the mustard starts sprouting, add two curry leaves, one red chilli. When the dal turn golden brown, add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon of chilli powder, and a pinch of fenugreek powder, and asafoetida. Now I have taken half a cup of uh, semia or uh, for that I am adding one cup of water. To this I am adding half a tablespoon of tamarind powder. I am using this dry tamarind powder. You can even use tamarind paste or tamarind extract. If you are using tamarind paste add half teaspoon two three fourth of a teaspoon for this quantity half a cup of vermicelli if you're using tamarind extract take around quarter cup of tamarind extract you can vary it according to your uh, taste now add the required amount of salt let it come to a boil the tamarind has to be cooked before we add uh, anything. If the tamarind is not cooked, then whatever you add will not get cooked that easily. Now it is boiling well. I am adding half a cup of vermicelli. Now this vermicelli is already roasted. So I am adding it directly. In case your vermicelli is not roasted, please roast it before adding. Bring it to a nice boil. Bring the heat to the lowest possible. Close it and keep it for one minute. Keep it closed with a slight opening and you not close it fully for just one minute. Vermicelli cooks very very fast. Now you can see that the vermicelli is fully cooked. That's it. Arsenia pulliodurai or vermicelli pulliodurai is ready to serve. Add a few curry leaves for added flavor. This can be given as a lunch box recipe too. It will stay good and it will taste good. 